everybody after this game is talking about Amari Cooper. So is he the best receiver to ever wear a Bills jersey? That's my question. <laughs> uh, by the way, before I answer that question, I was texting the news director saying, why do we have to keep working with you? <laughs> That's just, a good point. Just so you know. That's a good point. And Joe was also texting the, the news director. And for that reason, I'm out, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. What, how good was Tibbets. Mar- how good? Tibbets, you're getting the call. <laughs> Bring him in. Bring in Tibbets. You lefty. How good was Amari Cooper yesterday? Well, I think uh, if if you're judging best Bills receiver ever on, yeah. on a 12 12- – route run sample size per sample he's, size it's got to be the best he's in the running <laughs> yeah um <laughs> no uh i think i think cooper what he was able to do on just four days of actual um actual time on task mm-hmm. was very impressive you know not a, i mean he's a very savvy guy when you when you listen to him talk about his craft very impressive he knows what's going on high iq player you can see it from a film perspective anytime he understands how to uh, how to evaporate leverages uh, in man to man? Evaporate <laughs> leverages. What a guy! I don't what even a, understand. What how a roll and of words this guy's got. Evaporate leverage. I look that up. That doesn't even sound like it makes sense. It does make sense. <laughs> really? uh, it's he, he, he's able to figure out spacing against zone coverage. He, he understands angles and and yeah. finding the the right angle to yeah. be able to have the quarterback be able to get the, get him the ball and be in the right spot. On scramble drills, that's another one of his excellent uh, excellent abilities. He didn't really have to do it too much in this game because I don't think Allen had a scramble drill when I, – actually, there was one. I'm sorry. There was one, but he didn't really have to relocate all that much yeah. in it. So uh, Cooper just – he understands the position so well. He is a technician in every sense of the word, and what he was able to do just in those few snaps was impressive. I don't want to overreact to one game. Sure, Because I think, I think we all did a little bit after 3-0. Uh huh. But – Having said that, uh, if you look at what happened yesterday in the second half, if that is more the norm, yes, that's fantastic for this. We spent the yeah. first six games going, who is going to catch a football? Mm-hmm. Who's going to get open? Who's going to make plays? In the second half yesterday, Bills wide receivers had 15 targets, caught 13 of them for 206 yards and, two t- and a touchdown. <laughs> Those all came from three guys, Cooper, Shakir, Coleman. Yeah. So here's the deal. Joe's talking about Cooper and, and that buzz was legit, right? He's energizing this passing game, at least yeah. again, small sample size. Absolutely. I get it. Coleman just had his best game as a bill, four catches, 125 yards. Shakir is Shakir. He has been the most consistent receiver. Again, he is Mr. Reliable. You throw it in his area, he catches it. So if these guys can continue, we've gone from what is going on with Curtis Samuel? Yeah. Matt Collins is here for blocking. What the heck is Josh Allen going to do? Oh, dear Lord, help us to, wow, that's a good top three yeah. if they can play like that. I have a real quick fun fact. How many of Keon Coleman's targets uh, do you think Amari Cooper was on the field for? Zero. The answer is zero. The answer is zero. I saw that earlier today. That's why I know the answer oh, to that question. Okay. Oh, look yeah, you go. yeah. I, I really liked how Keon evaporated leverage when he you was on the field. <laughs> can, you, can you explain to me what leverages are? I, I cannot. 